like Loughton, Buckers Hill, and I mean SL2 live in the same area, and there's Prodigy that live sort of down the road, and then there's um, Suburban Base where most of their artists' home is in this area. I think, in a way, Essex dominates the hardcore scene. I don't think there's many groups. I mean, there's a lot of other groups, obviously, but Essex is where it's at. The reason we called the label Suburban Bass is because uh, we thought it was cool that we are based outside of London, but managing to take on the majors um, at their own game and, and beating them in most cases, um, it's more than just a Suburban Bass thing now. Suburban Bass is a family. We call ourselves the Boogie Times Tribe after the, the shop. That's how it works so well because the general public can see that, that it is a tribe, you know, it's, a, it's like a crew of people and we all really believe in what we're doing. We're a group of friends that, that work really hard together to break our own material. We don't just license from any old place, we break our own material and work on our own product in our own studio. Recessions are in the world just getting depressing. If you can make music and make money, that's what everyone wants to do. We have respect for um, our age group because we're not looking at um, the businessman sitting behind the chair raking all, all the money from Charlie or everybody in the place. We're looking at the kids who are going out raving, mm. you know, giving them what they want, you know. That's why we've got so much respect for like, people that age. I'd like to check out Nelson's Common. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know well, about you guys. <laughs> when they see all of us, they just see four people that ten minutes ago, before they got on stage, were in the crowd, sort of dancing around and having a laugh. And I think people like to see something that is very close to home, you know, yeah. something they can relate to. What is your problem? Hold on! Hold on! It's not hard. To me, it's totally impossible to play totally live because I literally need so much equipment on stage and probably about five people operating all the equipment. But um, we try and play as live as we can when we're on stage, and um, the idea when we're on stage is to get the buzz across to the crowd. These are my babies. When we're playing the set, I'm just sort of like running in between each of the keyboards and playing different sections of each of the songs. Like, for instance, on this song, I might sort of like play a section of your love. When I'm on stage and yeah, you've got 15,000 people standing there and I'm, I'm thinking, right, I wrote this song in my bedroom and now there's 15,000 people jumping about to the song and I'm, I'm just getting such a buzz out of that song because I've, I wrote it in my bedroom and it's sort of like, um, it's, I wrote this song for you people and you people are dancing to it. We want, we want that sweet, sweet love. We want that hardcore love. Come on and this people! 